It's a cat. We're adopting a cat. Don't get crazy now. Good evening, friends. Happy Tuesday. I cannot figure out what day of the week it is at all this week. I'm 0 for 2. That's troubling. <laughs> I do not have like the time or energy to like film a full vlog today. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day and I am a bartender and so I got out of work later because it is already kind of starting to pick up. I went a few places looking for fun things to wear for tomorrow for me and my coworkers. Would not recommend doing that last minute. I went to like a hundred places and got like five things. In the middle, scarfing down some Chipotle and waiting for Steve to call so I can go pick him up from work. He's having a late rough day. It's just, it's not a good vloggy day, but we've been hanging on to this news and it's just really exciting. And I figured what better day than today to share with you guys that we are adopting a baby kitten and I'm so excited. We are gonna have a cat party. So we've mentioned before that we do want a kitten and that we were going to be on the lookout for one this year because Hux and Kenobi are just two very very different ages and Hux needs a playmate and Steve and I are at home all day every day to play with him so that task kind of falls to Kenobi unfortunately and he's not much for playing rough housing, running around. We're not sure how old Kenobi is, but we do know he is an older cat. And so with Hux only being one year old and Kenobi being older, it's just, he's just relentlessly trying to play with him. And Kenobi just wants to left the heck alone. If you guys remember my sweet baby Kylo, pillow for reference, Kylo did live here, but moved with Chad when we split up. But there have been instances where I've had Kylo for the weekend and all three cats have been here and Hux and Kylo, cause Kylo's two. So there's a one year old and two year old, just play, 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 play. And Kenobi is just lounging, maxing and relaxing, finally getting some peace. We knew a third cat was going to be a good idea to have someone for Hux to play with and for Kenobi's just general feeling of peace. Now I do know that Kenobi is going to 1000% hate this when it first happens. And I'm not sure how Hux is going to react, but he's been pretty good with other cats. So I don't see why he'd be an issue. Um, I'm more worried about stressing out Kenobi more, but again, it's a little bit of stress in the beginning and then it will become something far better for him. With all that being said, as fate would have it on one fine day, I ran into Danielle, who I adopted Hux from. Uh, I saw her at work. I let her know that we were in the market for another cat. If she heard of kittens somewhere, or if her cat, um, Hux's mom, was having more kittens, like we'd be interested in that. And lo and behold, she was like, oh yes, Hux's mommy is very pregnant and will have a litter literally any day now. She says, what would you like, a boy or a girl? For acclimation, getting along purposes, we're sticking with boys. So we have a baby boy kitty on the way. He was born a week ago, maybe a week and a half. I have no concept of time anymore. He was born not so long ago and he has the sweetest little baby angel face and I'm just so excited to meet him. So ladies, gentlemen, non-binary folks, friends of all ages, allow me to introduce you to our new baby coming in May, Dooku. Oh, did you think we were gonna stray from the Star Wars names? Steve and I had a few different Star Wars names picked out. And when we saw that he was going to be gray, like um, Dooku made the most sense for us to do. <laughs> Not necessarily for the love of the character. We just really thought it was a cute Star Wars cat name. You see, my Jedi powers are far beyond yours. Danielle has already started calling him Dooku, which I love. She's fantastic about that. Like she started calling Hux, Hux before we adopted him um, just to kind of keep him cognizant of his name. And Hux really knows his name. So I, there's definitely something to that. Uh, she's been sending me pictures and video. I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. Three cats, Steve and I are about to be outnumbered. We will be stopping at three. We are gonna have like 15 cats running around. This again, just seemed like a good situation for our other two babies and for us, because like, I mean, we love cats. It's not a secret. We are cat people. 
That cat tree we made at Christmas time is still right over there. Come here, Bubby. So Kenobi has no idea what's coming. And uh, he's going to have a little bit of a time getting acclimated. But it'll be a good thing, Bubby. You'll be so happy at the end. We'll get all the cuddle time. And those babies will just play, play, play. I also do think it's super fun. No one else seems to think this is as cool as I do. But whatever. I think this is super fun that like Hux and Dooku are gonna have the same mommy. Like they're actual brothers. Every time I've expressed excitement about that, uh, someone tells me that they don't necessarily have the same dad. You can still share a parent and be siblings. I have four sisters that I do not share a mom with. We all have the same dad and they are my sisters. Just because they are half sisters by blood does not make them any less my sisters. So they're freaking brothers, okay? Lay off me. Who's defensive? Certainly not your mommy. What? So that's it. That's the big news. I'm just so happy to share this with you guys, even though you totally knew this was coming. Steven is also very excited. I did want to make this video with him, but just timing wise, and it's been a stressful day for him. So it's just not going to work out. But uh, I, I assure you, he's excited. I'm not forcing a third cat on him. He's a cat dad through and through. But yeah, that's it. That's the news. Tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. I got lipstick on you, Bubby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow St. Patrick's Day is about to be the busiest, uh, most stressful day of work of the year. And so I'm just gonna relax and get stuff ready and just prepare myself for what I hope is a fun shift and lucrative and quick. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Also might be a short video because of St. Patrick's Day and all the things I just told you. We're getting a kitty. <laughs>